Joining me now, great pleasure right here on set, Shannon Breen, anchor of Fox News Sunday and still Fox's chief legal correspondent. We checked on that. And mm -hmm. author of The Love Stories of the Bibles. Okay. You got it. I stole your copy. You got my copy. I all do. Right. And you're going to read some from your copy. Okay. But first of all, you're going to comment on Bill Barr. What did you think? What did you hear, well, you know, Shannon? It's interesting what you brought up about how this looks around the world, because I saw mm -hmm. some reports that the president of El Salvador was talking about this and saying, OK, basically, I don't want to hear lectures from the U.S. now about democracy and about political persecution. If they're going to come tell us that we're not getting it right, in his view, looking from the outside in, that's how he viewed this and was giving us a little bit of a a lecture in return. The politicalization of the justice system, okay? Look, you know more about it than I do. Bill Barr knows a whole lot more about it than I do. But I think it's a real problem. I think it's becoming an issue. And then, you know, so the left does one thing and then the right wants to do another. And we just keep going back and forth, which I don't think is very healthy. Yeah, and so we don't know, as he wisely said, and we keep saying, we don't know what's in this indictment. Maybe there are surprises. Maybe there's more meat to this case. We won't know until that arraignment probably on Tuesday. So we wait and watch, but in the meantime, it's it's like in Washington what they do when they change the rules for something, whichever party's in charge, and you try to warn them, like, you're not going to like this when you're in the minority on this. You're going to be in the receiving end. And that may be what happens with prosecutors, too. Who is to say a Republican elected prosecutor somewhere doesn't say, like, okay, great, there's this Democrat we want to go out go after here, I think it's at least as strong a case as what they did in Manhattan. So I'm going to check out doing that. Every time they talk about yeah. they're, they're going to add seats to the Supreme Court, then the other side says, great, when we're in charge, we'll add seats to the Supreme Court. So it this just ratchets up. This is the stuff that drives me crazy. This is not the stuff of America greatness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I go back to Bill and I were children. We both worked for Ronald Reagan. He had a terrific vision. The vision still stands. My argument is Trump reinvigorated the vision. But whatever one thinks about Trump, the Reagan vision still stands. This is not the Reagan vision. You do it, I do it. You do it, I do it. I mean, it's just, just it's, it's difficult. It's the, yeah, you have faith. I have faith. We'll get through this somehow. I think yeah. that's what Mr. Barr was saying. He himself is a great churchman. So I, I think we'll get out of this. Having said all that, Shannon Bream, the love stories of the Bible speak. Now, you've already stolen my copy of your book. I did. I promised book, to give it back. But I wanted you to read some from the, I'm not going to let you off the set okay. until you read some from this great book. Okay. So this comes from the first chapter about Song of Solomon, which is considered kind of the racy, steamy, you know, part of the Bible. But these two people really love each other and they're anxious to be together and to be married. And so I think it's beautiful that this is included because it's not like it's a surprise to God. Like he invented us. He created us. He knows. But I end the chapter saying this, that love requires sacrifice. We have to handle it as a delicate treasure with care care and attention. It calls us to put someone else first, to want the very best for them and to grow out of our own selfishness. As my husband often says, when you're busy trying to put the other person first, you both wind up happy. Mm. And that's kind of against what the world tells us about what, whatever makes you happy and you, you know, do what makes you, um, regardless of whatever happens to somebody else. Like it's all about you, you, you. I think love though really qu requires us to sacrifice and grow up a little bit. Is that why you're always crying at weddings? Uh, you know I love to cry at it's weddings. The, I do confess that in the book. I think, just think it's marvelous. I do. It's even more marvelous that you're writing it down. Really, you're I crying really do. It because of the I joy, the, the, the yeah, total the happiness. Joy of that. And the enormity Which is that, godly. Can yeah, I say that? Yes. I think so, too. Like, the bravery that people have to pledge their lives to yes, each other, like, that yes. takes a lot of courage. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I always remember, I think we, you know, you think back on your own wedding day, mm -hmm. and you get a little choked up, never knowing, I'm 27 years in, and not knowing all the highs and the real lows that would come, but so thankful I have this partner with me to do this adventure together. Um, almost 36 years with my saintly wife. There you go. And it just was the greatest thing. By the way, she's, I proposed to her constantly. She was always saying Aww. no. And finally, How could she say and, no to Larry Gudlow? Well, she did, believe me. And, she, and then she finally <laughs> hit the bid. And, and, she and says, let's do this. Went. All right. Shannon Bream. What's it? Put the book back up there so oh. people can see it. And I'm really, giving you back your copy, or, and, okay? Which um, you had a lovely Personally notice. autographed for Larry. Shannon Bream, <laughs> Fox News every Sunday. Two, uh, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern on Fox News. I thought it was in the morning. It's not well, yes, yeah, so on the Fox broadcast channel, That's it's different, right. but you can look in the mornings, but we replay it on Fox News channel at 2 p.m. Eastern. 2 p.m. Yeah. And pick up Shannon's new book. I love to sell books. This one, The Love Stories of the Bible Speak, available everywhere now. I know a lot of people that cry at weddings, especially good weddings. Do you? I have.
Okay, and, I'm going to be watching. And even <laughs> seeing the married couple 20 years later, yeah. even then have cried some Love it. Shannon Bream, thank you.